Welcome to the very first episode of Dimensional Analysis. Dimensional Analysis is one of the very very important tool or concept in uh, physics. It's uh, really really important before starting the advanced physics or, or mechanics or any part you know. So uh, before learning Dimensional Analysis I want to take you to to physical quantities you know physical quantities uh, means like uh, length uh, mass you know uh, temperature or you say velocity uh, acceleration uh, current you know these all are physical quantities and uh, you know in our universe uh, generally while studying the total universe you know in physics we uh, divide those all physical quantities into uh, two sections uh, first one is a primary primary physical quantities all right or we say sometime uh, fundamental physical quantities also that's more uh, used you know this is more commonly uh, used fundamental quantities all right fundamental physical quantities that is more better to say fundamental physical quantities and another is uh, secondary <coughs> secondary physical quantities or we say derived physical quantities while learning SI unit, you know, international system of units, you must have learned uh, the two types of the uh, units, uh, uh, fundamental units and secondary units. There also, you know, that is determined uh, based, completely based on that uh, fundamental physical quantities and uh, secondary or direct physical quantities. So first we should learn uh, what are the fundamental physical quantities. Let me tell you, uh, understanding dimensional analysis is completely based on the fundamental physical quantities. Uh, so uh, first uh, fundamental physical quantities, we had learned mass, all right. Second, we had learned length, and then we had learned time. You know, these fundamental quantities do not depend on any other things or any, any other factors. Another one is electric current. Fifth one is intensity of light. Sixth one is temperature. And seventh one, the last one, amount of substance. Amount of substance and uh, the derived quantities are those quantities which are made with this uh, these these uh, seven fundamental quantities maybe one maybe two maybe three or maybe all you know any t any any it may be you know simply i mean to say those quantities those physical quantity which are uh, made with these you know let's say let's say i'm talking about the speed you know so speed is a derived physical quantities or secondary physical quantities because speed means distance means distance travel in certain interval of time all right so what is distance what is distance distance is a uh, uh, length and uh, time is time so i can say that speed is made with two things two fundamental things that is uh, uh, length and time so these uh, two fundamental uh, quantities length and time makes speed so i can say that speed is derived from length and time so that's why uh, that's why you know those quantities which are made with those these these fundamental quantities are can derive quantities similarly if you if you take example of let's say force then uh, force is what mass into acceleration all right uh, mass is itself the fundamental quantities and acceleration is again uh, velocity you know velocity divided by time all right uh, times again mass and again velocity is what this is mass and again velocity is what uh, it's a distance you know or it better you say displacement displacement divided by time and initially there was one more time so time squared so see here <coughs> mass distance time th these all are what these all are these quantities you know mass uh, distance means length time is here so these quantities are called derived quantities as they are formed uh, from these fundamental quantities and my dear friend uh, these fundamental quantities are represented like ma uh, mass is represented by capital M and we close inside the the big bracket or what do you say square brackets all right inside this we also put this length uh, we represent by L and we uh, capital L and we, we keep it inside the square bracket similarly time like this electric current is uh, measured in ampere so we do like this intensity of light candela CD all right and temperature Kelvin all right and amount of substance that's mole m o l so like this also we represent this uh, these fundamental quantities okay so now the things comes what is dimension you know 
so dimension whenever i'm saying then you have to understand anybody <laughs> saying not me only anybody saying dimension then you have to understand that it's the powers or better you say exponents you know exponents raised to the base quantities you know base quantities of a unit quantities of unit okay uh let's say uh let's say uh, uh i'm talking about let's say speed okay so speed is as i told you it's length divided by time how much length or how much distance i'm traveling in certain interval of time that's my speed so same thing can be written as uh, length times time to the power minus one all right and as i told you length is represented by capital l and then, and then inside the bracket and time we represent by capital T inside the square bracket and power minus 1 so uh, what I can say that it's L T minus 1 and both inside the square bracket and if I'm including here the mass also then mass uh, has power 0 all right L T minus 1 okay so here M is having power 0 L is having power 1 and T is having power minus 1 so uh, dimensions of speed is uh, 0 in mass 1 in length and minus 1 in time so dimension means uh, the powers or exponents raised to the base quantities of unit of a speed a speed unit is, a unit is what you know uh, if you go to the further like in a unit way also if you go then uh, length uh, unit is meter and uh, times unit is uh, second you know so it's it's meter per second all right so the powers or exponents you know powers or exponents raised to the base quantities you know the the base quantities of unit so unit is meter per second meter means representing length length has how much power one you know see here and time has how much power minus one see here so these one and minus one are the dimension of uh, dimension of of speed all right uh, plus one dimension in length and minus one dimension in time and zero dimension in mass so that's that's dimension of a speed and whenever we are going to discuss about dimension then one thing always keep in mind that we're not going to talk about the magnitude all right magnitude is not considered it's it's uh, the physical quantities here whenever we discuss about dimension it solely depend on the quality all right whether i'm saying let's say uh, length or i'm saying breadth or I'm saying height or I'm saying distance or I'm saying displacement whatever I'm saying you know don't go to the magnitude if you if you come to the quality then all they means the the, the, the same dimension you know uh, same same units if you go they all means length you know they all means length uh, with power one all right so so these all have the dimension one in length all right rest, rest of this all is zero okay so so we, we we focus on quality rather than uh, quantities all right we we don't consider magnitude keep in mind whenever we study dimension and now uh, rest of this we'll be talking in the next video there we'll learn about the dimensional formula you know dimensional uh, some quantities equations uh, those all things we can discuss all right i'll see you in the next video bye bye